Thank you so much. Uh, what a wonderful opening session. Thank you so much, uh, Director Sanu. Thank you so much, uh, the distinguished panelists, for very um, interesting insights. Um, thank you, Mr. Mo Mohaldeen, for the three Bs uh, and the, um, the uh, excitement that you have generated by committing to the human capital uh, project, which we clearly believe is going to be the hallmark of what should happen in the, in the near future. I'm clearly the odd man out, uh, come from the industry. I, have, uh, I belong to a company that for the last three decades has been an enabler and an intermediary in enabling technology and creating uh, platforms and solutions as the world of telecom, as all of you know better than I do, uh, has really evolved. I'm also the odd man out because I'm using the age-old technology or PowerPoint because I want to see if it works. Uh, or rather, it still works as we talk the new technologies. I don't know which way I'm supposed to point. All right, maybe if you can click on it. So maybe you can click on all these. There's no marks for guessing that the role that the telecom industry has played over the years to the data that um, uh, Ms. Lachlan was, uh, was presenting about the penetration that has happened in Australia. I'm not sure if uh, Mr. Sharma from India is here, but, uh, but he would attest to the revolution that is taking, in, uh, taking place under his leadership in India, is all around what people and humanity has been able to do, uh, thanks to the role that the telecom industry has played. Uh, if you can go to the next slide. In a sense, the words that you just heard from the distinguished panelists were essentially alluding to one simple statement, that the world that we now live in, the world that we now play in, and the world that we now work in has been exponentially, dramatically transformed. However, we have probably just seen the tip of the iceberg. Uh, the world is likely to dramatically change yet again. Thanks, uh, not just to the three very important technologies that are, uh, that are the matter of discussion next couple of days, but also because the consumers and the customers of tomorrow, some of them who are not even born yet, are going to continuously going to be hungry and thirsty for platforms and technologies and solutions and services that have hitherto never ever been seen in the past. Um, and if I were to, uh, to just take a few recent examples, I'm not even talking about uh, very much uh, in the future. If you can click to the next. Uh, maybe you can click to the next, please. Three big driving forces that are going to impact the telecom industry and hence industry and mankind is one, and I think you alluded to Ms. Lachlan about the investments that will happen in the next generation of networks. Networks that are going to be uh, intrinsically, intrinsically more smarter, intelligent, cognitive, uh, faster and more powerful because they will have to connect devices that have never ever been manufactured in the past. And because the manner in which data and the type of data that is going to be consumed on smartphones or smart devices, and some devices that have still to be invented, is going to be, uh, if these three driving forces are, have to be taken care of, uh, it is going to be uh, an understatement of the century that the telecom industry is going to be right at the core to witness, to participate, to enable, and to facilitate this transformation as you go forward. If you can go to the next. Uh, just make one more click. Tonight is my most awaited Portugal football match in which my Ronaldo would be playing, and I will have to miss it because of my office timing. So this is a colleague of mine a. This makes me really, really, really sad, that, uh, and I really, she really, is, really She likes football. She uh, works Ronaldo very hard because I'm she works miss at him play. We don't give enough free time. She loves to follow football. She loves to follow a certain superstar. 
and uh, she usually gets to watch this only after the event is over, much, much later after the event is over because she's working. Uh, the fact is that today, data and data synthesization is possible. The fact is that IoT enables a message to reach anywhere, anytime, on demand. And the fact is that we now know enough about this young lady called Swati. So if you can go to the next click. Now you can, now you may not be a fan of Ronaldo, but this lady is. Uh, what essentially can happen and is happening today is this video clip, which is no more than any other data packet uh, that, uh, that a consumer can enjoy. However, beyond the usual data traffic, a service provider is not essentially, there may be some exceptions in some part of the world, more often than not is not able to monetize something that can happen now, which is by hyper-personalizing, trying to understand who this young lady really is, what exactly are her likes and dislikes, what exactly is the service that she demands, and being able to deliver this service to her there and then, you probably, the industry probably has an opportunity to maybe monetize this very simple application. If you can go to the next one. This is, this is probably the internet. What you see is a picture from Indonesia uh, for, an, for a local championships around esports. An industry that amazingly feeds off an industry called video games. Those numbers are staggering that you see. Uh, these numbers, uh, in comparison to these, the numbers from the historical industries like cinema and audio and professional sports pale in comparison. And yet, esports as an industry is at its infancy stage. Now, just imagine the power that the telecom industry can deliver to this industry and participate in an industry like this. And this is just one of the many examples because the, the underlying premise of some of these industries is connectivity. If you can go to the next slide. And similarly, you really can take opportunities and advantages of, um, of the complications that will be delivered uh, in a simplistic fashion because connectivity, AI, and IoT are all going to be harnessed together. If you can go to the next slide, which really points to a very simple question that I have. The world that I come from, uh, we have you know, thousands, hundreds of thousands of gods and goddesses. And the word God, in many ways, uh, define and conforms to things like the supreme, the powerful, the, uh, the one who can solve any problem. But at the same time, sometimes who's, who does not deliver what, uh, you know, when somebody wants it. To, to, to many, it sounds like the telecom industry over the years has played the role of God. But then somebody reminded me that the people who really enable the telecom industry are indeed the regulators. So I may, I may like to believe that I am amidst right now the gods and goddesses of the industry. And I hope that all of you uh, will combine and make the policies very agile to make all the possibilities that you saw in some of those videos indeed happen in time to come. And most importantly, deliver them in a fashion where the world, the humanity, and the industries feel extremely secure. Thank you so much for this opportunity.